Holy cow, they've been having some really bad luck. This is a channel called Dome Life. Uh, thanks to one of my uh, subscribers for recommending this one. If you've got a channel you want to recommend that I should watch, camodavidgmx.com. And per, per, I, need, I need drama. I need more drama. And this was a lot of drama. So they're camping in Arkansas, and they, uh, they have a uh, trailer, and the trailer just gets taken. The trailer is just gone. It's just gone. It's just gone. It's just gone. And it's got all their stuff in it, all their living stuff in it. It's gone. And then they've got, then what would it happen like a couple days, a, a while, not too long ago, they're still waiting on it. Their, their Hummer was in it. It, was, it got messed up in an accident. And it's got wrecked. So that's a problem. So, oh my goodness, just one thing after another, this poor couple just, man, they're now into tent camping <laughs> because their home is gone and they had a whole bunch of stuff in it it's all gone they called the police they put out a lookout for it so far they haven't found it so uh we'll probably you know hopefully we'll get an update and they find it and it's all everything's still there but uh man oh man and then and then they go to the bank to get because apparently they had stuff in the car in the in the trailer that you know they needed to talk to the bank about to cancel checks and whatever that were in the trailer and it turns out that when they came out of the bank they got a flat tire so man oh man and then the guy says he got a spider bite a while back okay yeah anyway the mtb frame cracked a wreck in the hummer crashed the drone cody got built bit, bit by a tarantula and now we have this our trailer stolen and we hope this is the end of our bad luck. But what, what is amazing about this is how incredibly upbeat they are about it all. You know, it's amazing, truly amazing that after all of that, including a flat tire too, they're still like, you know, hey, it's, you know, there's still some good to today and some good things happening. And we're optimistic that things will get better. So, you know, anyway, uh, anyway, good video here. A lot of drama in it. A little too much drama, perhaps, from Dome Life. Hey, for someone who's lived in the D.C. area for many years, this was a pretty scary time. Back in the early 2000s, there were these uh, guys that were basically shooting people as they filled up with gas, fill up their cars with gas in the D.C. area, the D.C. snipers. I won't get into the whole story, but do watch it here. It's a good, a good, uh, that 2002 there, recapping the entire craziness of what was going on back there. Mobile Instinct. And who is that? That that is Lamont, Black, aka Black Bugatti, whatever. Anyway, Lamont at large, aka whatever. So he is there together in the D.C. area, checking out the sniper incidents from uh, early two. What is it? Two thousand. It is from two thousand and two. I do remember that. A very many personal memories of what happened there, and it was really scary. Scary time. Check it out. Always. Always good stuff from uh, Chris Mobile Instinct and uh, what's his name anyway? Uh, Lamont. Yeah, Lamont. Hey, let's do some letters, shall we, for the 16th of November 2021. Uh, we were talking about a new, a new Bob Wells. Yeah, well, Bob's got a helper there, Brian, that is helping him out now with the video. So if you go to, if you go to uh, RV, um, what is it called? Uh, Cheap RV Living Bob, you might find Brian instead. Coastal Kev says Bob is busy in his corporate high office in Phoenix. His staff goes out to do interviews. They return to Bob with videos and he bought and edit them at Bob's Bob's golf course condo. Wait a minute. I don't know, man. Uh, Mark from Arizona says, you know who we don't talk about is not a nomad. He's a wannabe. He already has a 70 inch TV. But uh, yeah, with the upgrades, he'll get a better picture. Yeah, it has a lot to do with your internet and service provider and their uh, provider and their stream rate. Yeah, you know, again, it's like uh, a car and a highway. You buy a car that can do 200 miles an hour, but if your highway has a speed limit of 55 or 70 or whatever, and because of traffic, it's jammed up at 35 all the time, your your big fancy car ain't gonna. Go that fast. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with a TV. You can buy a really fancy TV. But if you're out in the wild doing some sort of cell internet, are you really going to get a picture quality for that thing that you think you're going to get? I don't know, man. I was asking people, who do the, which state do they like better for camping? Texas or New Mexico? I think New Mexico is leading in the votes right now. Raven in a van I am says, I vote New Mexico better than Texas. 
just my personal experience. Hey, don't want to, we're not putting down Texas, just telling you what people are voting on. C1212 Able says I should start adding nomads that travel the country via the waterways and live aboard houseboats. Uh, yeah, when me and Julie finish up our adventure here in the Bahamas and return to the States, we are putting both of our properties, my Key West or their Key Largo condo, Key Largo condo and house on Lake Norman, which is right near here in Western North Carolina, on the rental market and are buying a houseboat. We'll probably rent a slip on the Cumberland River near Nashville. That's very cool. I'll do that. I got to check out some uh, waterborne nomads. We do cover a few people that do have, you know, finding Simon up there in Vancouver. I have done a few, but uh, yeah, we do need to cover some more of those. I will make a note. Again, if you see some nomads I should cover, I'm really going to get, when I get back from my trip to Phoenix the next two weeks, I'm really going to work heavily at getting some new nomads into the mix and some water nomads. Good idea. Taylor Rose says, I guess Dave never checks himself in the mirror. I can't believe you didn't notice that damn whisker sticking out to the side. Yeah. I mean, I do have a mirror. See? I do, but, you know, it's like... Uh, 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 uh. Uh, Marie says, Wonder Hussy has really opened up a can of rattlesnakes with this cat issue. Yeah. Wonder Hussy moved into the new house in Death Valley there, and the cat... Uh, apparently, that Wonder Hussy's a lot traveling a lot, whereas her sister is living with her, and the sister didn't want to have to deal with the cat box. So the sister has encouraged Wonder Hussy to try to turn the indoor cat into an outdoor cat, and etc. People are all upset about that. I hope there are some repercussions, writes Marie. Uh, can you tell me how many people have unsubscribed since she, since she posted that video? Okay, there's the cat trying to get back in. Poor kitty doesn't want to be outside. Anyway, Social Blade, hey, sometimes it's accurate, sometimes it isn't. Does say that she's lost 2,000 subs in the last 30 days, so for whatever that's worth. But she still has, she still has 183,000 subs. Jason70 says, Bob 2.0, Brian there, looks a lot like a young Norm Abrams. Yeah, Norm Abrams, Was he? wasn't he also on that what was that house with Bob, the, the show with Bob Vila, this old house, was he on there, the next guy to take over for Bob Vila? I think so. <laughs> and finally, we hear from Ray, no fear to trek. He was on my channel a couple weeks ago, doing a live stream with me. He stops by in Morganton every now and then. He it was in Western Tennessee and he was hunting deer. Final score, no fear to trek two, Bambi zero. Neighbors now have fresh Bambi venison in the freezer, so. Anyway, he is there, and he says he is going to be heading back west, back to the west, and down to uh, Arizona to hang out in the dusty deserts of Quartzsite. So uh, I'm going to be, again, I'm leaving tomorrow for my trip. I'll be in Phoenix, uh, San Diego, Los Agadones, Tucson, a couple other places over the course of two weeks. So... Uh, I'll be talking, you know, I'm, I'm going to talk more about that. I got a little live stream coming up tonight and we'll just, uh, I'll give you a quick update on what's going on. And uh, that's that. So, uh, yeah, Crotchy will be in charge while I'm gone. Oh, yeah, Dave. Thanks for watching. Vlog Hunter. I almost forgot this. I wanted to shout out. I Somebody sent me this on, um, somebody sent me this on, um, on Amazon, or via Amazon. Wow, there was no uh, note in it who it came from. It's Classic Svengoolie Bobblehead. Hey, next time I do a live chat from uh, on my Saturday one from here in Morganton, I will uh, break this open and uh, bobblehead it away. Yeah, that'll be cool anyway. That's cool. Thank you whoever sent this to me. Now, vlog under.